Today our topic is global warming and climate change. How does the global warming be starts for us? How does the climatic change we'll discuss today in our class? Here, as Earth has started for us from the initial from 4.7 billion years ago, we know from its fireball shape to now in the present planet. So when it has changed the Earth as a planet, several gases has releases for us. For example, oxygen is there for us for what? breathing purpose in the atmosphere you can find the ozone layer is there what is the duty of the ozone layer it may be make help for us from the harmful rays of ultra virus rays to not reach for us and next what nitrogen is a very important to the for the plant purpose like this we can find n number of gases are there here the point of the global warming how does it happen how these all things for example atmosphere is there we have learned the ninth class only when the sun rays fall on us uh, to earth reach what will happen the atmosphere will be trapped the which we find the rays again it will be not retain us if retain air only on the earth what will happen it will make like a burning gases for example rays came from the sun for us where on the earth if all the sun rays are fall here only again it is not radiation back it is not radiating back also reflecting back what will happen it may be here burning completely for example, if the rays are not coming for us, if the rays are not at all coming here, what will happen? It will be complete cold. If it is here like this completely, it may be burning. If the, all the rays are here only, if it is not reflecting back, if it is here only, what will happen? Burning. If reflected means completely, fine. Otherwise, what is the ratio, the radiation, how it is going back? When the sun rays fall on the earth, some parts clouds will be observed, some parts uh, dust will be observed some parts on variate variate ratios we can find like this here when the rays will be come back from the sun to earth here the atmosphere will be having the trapping the all the sun rays after trapping the sun rays if it is not escaping from that one at the same time earth also having some part of gravitational pull for us earth also having some part of gravitational pull in that medieval <coughs> time some will be escaping some will be here staying here only so which will be caused for us as a greenhouse effect what which is caused for us as a greenhouse effect greenhouse effect very very important for one more question these greenhouse effect will be more and more on the earth here so what will happen it leads to for us as a global warming for us what will become the greenhouse effect gases we can take carbon dioxide we can take some methane some etc so many are there for us these are the how does this happen for us some several years ago we are developing we are making the all development activities economically agriculturally and industrially the industrial revolution has changed for us the industrial revolution industrial revolution has changed here for us how does the development of these industries for us it has released n number of gases which one related to for us as a human being which was related to as a human being now current trend which we can call as a global warming current trend which we can call as a global warming is nothing but a g w means anthropogenic global warming anthropogenic global warming the current trend global warming is called what as a anthropogenic global warming. for why does this all as established industries as well as we need daily life to meet uh, so many goods producing we need services so that one the industries has created a lot of um, releases gases for us it called for as a global warming in that manual what we have done in the process of industries what we have done that we should be carefully understand for example to start industries to start industries we have cut increase the industries what have done we have cut the forest means what we done deforestation has done more and more these deforestation leads to what increase the co2 in the atmosphere and when it increase here what will happen for us here already what will be decreased as well as it leads to for us what low rainfall low 
rainfall will be increased and next it is continuous the process which will be happen to us it affects more and more when it increase the more and more what will happen it leads to for us as a global warming only which due to this heating the temperature of global warming what happen more and more of the ice caps more and more of the ice caps will be melting ice caps will do what happen for us melting if it melt more and more ice caps what will happen the automatic sea levels will be increase sea levels will be increasing the sea levels for us if increase the sea levels what will happen for us those who are living the coastal areas <coughs> those who are living in the coastal areas or near the islands this will be submerged this will be submerged for example we have discussed in the previous class in the 2004 what happened the indira point was submerged in the water indira point was submerged so like this it may be uh, submerging their life will be very difficult who are depends upon the who are living on the water so like seas and oceans for fishing purpose their occupation will be very difficult here we have to find like this so the same thing when increase the carbon dioxide the crop production also will be decrease what will happen crop production also will be decrease as well as if we increase for the uh, for agriculture sector also if you make more and more deforestation to grow the paddy crop it uh, release the what methane gas also again so here this is the what how it is affects on us increase in the what first you will cut the forestation if we cut the forest it leads to what deforestation if you make more and more deforestation increase the co2 if increase the co2 what will happen automatic temperature will be increased when increase the temperature what will happen there will be low rainfall for us it leads to global warming for us when increase the temperature most of the polar regions which have the ice caps will be melting start when ice caps and polar regions will be start melting the sea levels will be increasing automatic whatever is there the present in the 50 meters or 30 meters or example i am telling it increases the more and more sea levels when increase the sea levels what will happen those who are living in the coastal areas those who are depends upon the fishing occupation their life will become very difficulties and then islands and coastal areas can be submerged sometimes here we can find we have given here example indira point was submerged in the era of 2004 due to the floods like this it can be and here if it is increase like this what has happened it can cause for us as a catastrophic changes catastrophic changes what do you mean by catastrophic changes nothing but climatical changes climatical condition changes we can call what do you mean by climatical condition changes we have discussed already in the initial class of this climate of india climates the weather of our climate elements which are going to uh, change for not a short period for a long period means um, sunshine temperature precipitation wind humidity these all will be changed for a long time is called what as a climate so these climatical changes also occurs rarely early early the cycle of warm and cool early early means not now ancient times early early the cycle of warm and cool was changing for long period but now it is beginning very rapidly because of industries industrial revolution as well as agw anthropogenic global warming or we are doing the more and more deforestation and using the what luxury goods which we can find as a acs refrigerators which are going to release for us more and more chloroforo carbons for us chloroforo carbons chloroforo carbons it makes to ozone layer ozone layer depletion for us ozone layer depletion for us so this leads to for us very a uh, dangerous position for us so what happen most of the people are going to trying to be to reduce this all the deforestation uh, we learn already in ninth class they had done one kyoto protocol kyoto protocol to reduce the greenhouse emission of gases in the world wise most of the countries and most of the scientists has suggested to reduce the global warming to greenhouse emission gases to be reduced so like that here the kyoto protocol japan capital tokyo the japan capital tokyo they had done the kyoto proto protocol which was held in the japan country japan country 
capital of Tokyo. What they had done? Kyoto Protocol means to reduce the greenhouse gases. But it has not done till now. It is going on every year. They are going to connect the meetings on the basis of by the IPCC Intergovernmental Panel Climate Change. We'll discuss in the next after few minutes. Now here. This is the main aim of to what to reduce the greenhouse emission gases in the world wise most of the countries are also accepted but even though here it is not at all done here and most scientists recently discovered a large volume of the methane gas large volume of the methane gas which is going to make the frozen under the tundra zones in the north latitude parts of russian country what will happen if increase the methane gases if increase the methane gases if increase the methane gases increase the what global temperature global temperature what will happen automatically ice will be melted if most of the whole world antarctica continent and the arctic regions if all the ice melt once happen starts automatically the sea levels entire the world will become a very very high level so then what will happen those who are living near the islands or coastal areas very difficult to lead their life for them so it is a very very most dangerous sign for us to be reducing the global warming or greenhouse emission gases has to be reduced each and every one has to have joined their hands to reducing the global warming in the part of from our side next agw anthropogenic global warming nothing but uh, anthropogenic global warming means which is related to human only which is related to human it is called what anthropogenic global global warming the study of human being is called what anthropology the study of human is called what anthropology so which is related to us only it is called what anthropogenic global warming here we have uh, so many issues to reduce the here what greenhouse gases or global warming so what we should do what is our duties so most of the countries has signed an agreement with the help of UNO under UNFCC means united nation framework convention on climate change united nations framework on convention climate change they are conducting a series of conferences <coughs> they are conducting a series of conferences under the ipcc which we can call intergovernmental inter governmental panel on climate change to reduce the greenhouse gases here with the help of the uno even itself it can do more and more all works so it has under the control of unfccc un f c c united nation framework convention on climate change so under this this ipcc will be work intergovernmental panel on climate change so it was held in the 2013 it was the held in 2013 the meeting uh, country was poland capital of warsaw the poland country capital warsaw it was held here which is the most important here also they have done so many agreements to be reduce the global warming world wise to in, uh, reducing the global temperature what is on our side to reduce the, in the environment purpose always but here it was not done again canada capital ottawa the one more conference was done and next peru uh, capital of lima here also done and next france capital paris this all the countries were done so many conferences about the ipcc but even though still we are struggling about that one so finally they came for one conclusion what all the developed countries which we can call as the western european countries or we can take our example america germany russia so many these are all the countries they are arguing to what to stop the burning of fossil fuels for the developing countries here we have got one disagreement between the developed countries and developing countries to whom whom here between the developed versus developing countries developed countries and developing countries here already they have developed world wise in the european continent or north america or south america most of the countries were developed here but here these developing countries have still they are developing only once upon a time these developing countries were exploited by the developed countries 
at the time initially to develop now what at present in which position are there these developed countries what happened they are used the what fossil fuels burn means nothing but coal they use initial stages from here to what happened the fossil fuels has burned more and more means we can find as a coal and now in this position they have developed due to if burning more and more fossil fuels what will happen the ozone layer will be depletion for us the ozone layer will be depletion for us to reduce the ozone layer depletion they are asking to developing countries stop the burning of fossil fuels is it possible now it is highly impossible why because now these all are in the initial stage which one the developing countries if they stop once the burning of fossil fuels or coal the countries will be never become a developed state in the world so what they are asking they are asking it is what this agreement between the developed countries and developing countries the developed countries has to be stop itself so what happened they put one alternation in front of developed countries who kept option developing countries asking to developing countries show any alternation show any alternative for us there is no alternative showing so we will not stop the burning of fossil fuels but each and every country has a responsibility to reduce the global warming to reduce the deforestation to reduce the greenhouse emission gases each and every of the world wise but here what happened these countries between the these countries having a disagreement between about the burning of fossil fuels especially we can call them as a what coal we can call and here most of the scientists are telling about the what how to stop this all this if you find this all the disagreement between the developed and disagreements between regarding about the global warming every year for every year to see that what increase the sea level is what only 1 meter for every decade for every century 2 uh, degree celsius temperature is increasing what happens here 2 degree celsius temperature is increasing for every decade or for every century and as well as 1 meter of sea level is increasing for example entire the earth think here it is the sea level we can find for example if the sea level is up to here how many meters like 20 meters or 30 meters or 40 meters i mean for every century it increasing what 1 meter 1 meter if it increasing like this only what will happen it may for us fall under the danger position to see the number is numerical value very slow or very small only but here it affects a lot on the population high density area or alluvial soil area otherwise we can find coastal areas or in the islands so looking at to us a numerical value is a very small but it is affect on us a lot so we have to be join our hands to reducing the what about the climatical conditions global warming to reduce the greenhouse emission gases here we will discuss about the one case about the in india what happened about the kolkata city at kolkata city at uh, kmda we can call kolkata metropolitan development authority kmda kolkata development authority in the 2004 aila super cyclone aila super cyclone was hit here near nanadanga the east of kolkata 200 square kilometers it has squashed completely here the people has become a unsheltered here they became what here unsheltered and who came here that is uh, regularly daily wages wise which you can find under the unorganized sector workers we can call them otherwise as a rickshaw pullers or construction department or who are working as it is all the people have become a very difficult to, to lead their lives so after few days what happened again the government has taken a lot of steps to embankment of the areas development of this one to struggle lot so here like is if the climatical changes occurs for us if climatical changes occurs for us a lot we have or we won't get the proper seasonal changes also in proper way for example uh, we have rainy season winter summer example in the rainy season we have to get the rainfall but it will be not occurs it may be occurs in summer more in winter we will get the very hot in summer we will get very cold 
like this it will be having the reverse changes we can find see, two other very very important concepts one is el nino la nina la nina el nino la nina these are the warm current which you can find in the el nino, el nino and la nina which will occur the warm current a uh, warm ocean current in the pacific ocean it may be uh, effect on the indian monsoon whenever we need the rainfall it will be not get the rainfall for us due to the el nino due to the la nina we we'll get the sometimes excess rainfall here due to this catastrophic changes around across the world due to the greenhouse affecting uh, either uh, maybe the global warming it affects on the climatical changes maybe the it occurs drought conditions for us no rainfall or excess rainfall floods creates damage to the population agricultural sector industries this all could be happen to us due to the climatical changes or the global warming here it affects on what will happen due to the increase of what a methane gas otherwise a co2 otherwise greenhouse gases it affects to uh, melt the himalayan glaciers also which one himalaya glaciers which are caused for in our country what as a very very most important for the perennial rivers or ganga indus brahmaputra how does it affects it it affects more melting of the more and more uh, ice thawing of the permafrost these all affects on us and increase the sea levels and which are depends upon who are the fishermen or livelihoods affects more and more by the global warming what is agw anthropogenic global warming what is catastrophic means climatical changes long term climatical changes short term weather changes how does the greenhouse effect on us and how the deforestation leads to global warming for us and deforestation means here cutting more and more of forest continuous is called what deforestation it affects for us <coughs> increase the co2 increase the temperature increase the depletion of more and more ozone layer for us again it affects on the ice melting sea levels will be increasing submerging of the oceans which have the islands and coastal areas it affects more and more on the human life we just now discuss about the what due to this one only isla super cyclone just now we discuss isla super cyclone which occurs in 2009 at near the sundarbans where sundarbans nearly where how much 200 spatter families are affected here so many people has left the plate who came for the work anagna sector as the rickshaw pullers or construction road these all are affected more and more people due to this isla super cyclone it has affected more and more for us so like this so many to overcome these all things most of the countries they are trying to be stop the greenhouse emission gases each and everyone has to join our hands like that we have discussed about the one more famous kreta tambur most uh, youngest lady in the world kreta tanberg she belongs to swedish country uh, environmentalist to change on the climatical conditions to bring the, uh, the cut down the greenhouse gases in the world she is doing a more and more she has selected as a what time of the year and she got so many awards also appreciation from the uno side for us so each and everyone has to join our hands to protect our earth we have only one end planet to living conditions if you won't care about the earth again we will get the frequently floods or drought conditions for us earth the third planet from the sun the only planet having a vast diversity of life forms while other planets of our solar system are either scorching hot or bitterly cold earth has a relatively stable temperatures what is that which is making earth different what exactly is making earth such a favorable place to live on it is the earth's atmosphere which is a thin blanket of air surrounding the earth from all sides this air is a mixture of many different gases just like an umbrella which protects us from sun and rain this thin layer of air protects earth from the harmful radiations from the sun but this stable temperature is rising every passing year oceans are getting warmer significant shift in the climate is seen glaciers are melting why is all this happening 
What should be done to stop all this? We'll find the answer to all these questions through this session. Earth is constantly bombarded with enormous amount of radiations from the sun, which we receive in the form of light and heat energy. These radiations in the form of visible, ultraviolet and infrared have to first pass the Earth's atmosphere before reaching the surface. The ozone layer which is present in the Earth's atmosphere blocks some amount of harmful ultraviolet rays from reaching the surface. Of the remaining rays reaching the surface, part of it is absorbed by the Earth and some, especially the infrared waves, are reflected back into the space. But some gases in the atmosphere traps this heat radiation and re-emits it to the surface, which leads to heating up of the environment. This exchange of incoming and outgoing radiation that warms the earth is referred as the greenhouse effect. And the gases involved in this are called greenhouse gases, which mainly includes carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, chlorofluorocarbons, etc. Friends, but are you not wondering why it is called greenhouse effect? Is it something to do with the greenhouse? If you said yes, you are thinking in the right way. A greenhouse is a glass building in which plants that require protection from cold weather are kept. The glass cover helps to trap all the heat energy and keeps the inside environment warm. Now consider our planet Earth. The atmosphere acts as a glass and traps the heat. The greenhouse effect is essential in order to keep our planet warm. In the absence of this effect, the temperature of the Earth's surface would have been minus 20 to minus 40 degrees Celsius. But too much of something is bad, right? If the plants in the greenhouse receives excess heat, it would burn. And if we consider planet Earth, over the last two centuries, human activities have changed the Earth's atmosphere in a dramatic way. The amount of greenhouse gases have increased and are still increasing. They trap too much heat. And this excess of greenhouse effect results in global warming, which is an increase in the Earth's average temperature. Consequences of global warming are enormous. Its effects are not limited to one country, but it would affect the entire planet. Knowing the fact that global warming exists and human-made carbon dioxide emissions have caused it. Many nations of the world have come together to sign an international treaty, the Kyoto Protocol. The major objective of this protocol are commitment to reduce greenhouse gases by about 5% below their 1990 levels. But what can be done by us? How can we contribute in reducing global warming and also its consequences? Well, planting more number of trees, reducing waste generation, reducing the use of products which generate greenhouse gases, using energy efficient appliances, increasing the fuel efficiency of vehicles, using more renewable energy or say switch into greener ways which causes less harm to our environment. That's all for today. I hope you found this session very informative and you got a thorough knowledge of what global warming is.